Hello, I'm Linda from Balladies Body Blitz and here's a little mini. If I put anything on the floor, and if you're a cat person you know, you can put a piece of paper, you can put anything on the floor that's new, they will sit on it. So this is how I lured her back in when she was over there out of the shot of the video. So today we're doing holiday fit, day nine. It's going to be a cardio sculpt. We're going to be doing a lot of flowing movements. Yes, it's gonna be a bit tricky on the mind, but it's not gonna be hard on the body. So I'm gonna keep it in what's called a zone two to maybe two and a half cardio. So it's not gonna to be too hard on the heart rate, but there will be some fun combinations. We're going to start without any equipment. Then we will use some light hand weights. I've just got one kilo, which is just over two pounds. You also need a sturdy chair that you can put all your weight on. And I'm going to use a stability ball. If you don't have a ball, you can do most of the workout, maybe using your dumbbells instead, or maybe holding one of the smaller balls. And I also have a step with three risers on it, just for a short section to kind of really boost the heart rate a bit more by elevating, okay? So we're gonna get started without any equipment in the center of our space. And I want you to have nice soft knees and just start swinging your arms. So it's forward and up, down and back forward and up and a little pulse in those legs and back forward and up down and back so trying to just get the body moving getting the blood pumping down and back for four three two and one now I want you to bring your arms to the front big circle I'm lifting my heels each time it just feels good to do that and around and around six five, four, three, two, and one. Guess what, the other way. Around and around. Lifting those heels, bopping through the knees. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a kind of alternating windmill move. So I want you to start really using your entire body here Step, stepping, lifting those heels, putting your weight from side to side, big arms, rotating slightly through your waist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and to the back. This one might feel a little bit more awkward. Back and back. Keep your neck nice and long. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. In and out, in and out. Swing your arms, maybe bring your legs a little bit closer again. In and out. Now I want you to come a little bit more up and maybe you wanna lift off a little bit. So tiny jump, hinging forward from the hips. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come across and sweep. All the way across and then sweep your elbow back. Sweep and sweep. To the side, twisting through the waist. Deep breaths here. <sighs> Lifting your heels again, warming up those legs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now sweep down. It's down and up down and up just allow your body to move in its natural flow six five four three two and one we're going to come down up and back you've seen this one before so bring your elbows down to your waist forward and back down and up Breathing, four more, three, two, last one. Now I want you to sweep and sweep, sweep and sweep. So it's a down up, down up with those legs and figure eight with your arms. And sweep if you want to, bounce a little bit here, you can lift off. And sweep, sweep, and sweep. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 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 Six
three, two, and one. We're gonna sweep to the back and lift our heel. So twist through the waist, heel to the butt, just angling that slightly different. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, grab your light weights. Now, you can do this segment without any weights at all. We're gonna build up a really easy boxing combination just to heat up through the upper body. So roll your shoulders down and back, just come into a nice wide stance, and we're gonna just punch across diagonal. I want you to keep your shoulders nice and loose, and just extend, but not fully. Across and across, deep breaths. Eight, seven, six, twist through the waist. Four and three, two and one. Now do uppercuts for me. So you're coming from the bottom and you're thinking about bopping someone under the chin. Up, so I want you to really use your hips and drive up. Really nice and powerful. Six, five, four, three, two and one. Now just punch overhead, up and up. So slightly diagonally in front of you, shifting your weight from side to side in that lower body, cross and across, across and across. Six, five, four, three, two and one. We're coming up and down, just stay on one side. Slightly wider stance in your lower body, up and down, punch to the side, four, three, two, one, and other side. Punch and punch. Deep breaths, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to punch all the way across center, all the way across. So you're turning almost into a side lunge. Punch across and across, extending your arm, twisting through the waist. Six, five, four, three, two and one, come to the center, a little bounce and rotate as if you're punching a punching bag. Rotate, if you wanna stay stable, you can. Six, five, four, three, two and one, and other side. Just punching and rotating. Might feel a bit more awkward on your less dominant arm. Might be less of a circle and more of a weird polygon. That's okay, just keep going. For four, three, two, and one. Nice stance in the center. We're gonna do some faster punches and we're gonna combine a few of them together, okay? So start here, we're gonna go four, three, two, one, uppercut. Four, three, two, one, overhead. Four, three, two, one, side to side. Again, center, uppercut, overhead, side, to side. Keep going with that, nothing tricky. Uppercut, overhead, side to side. One more set. Uppercut, overhead, and side to side. Now go doubles, doubles, up and down, up and down. This way, doubles, doubles, up and down. Doubles, doubles, up and down. Keep going, doubles, doubles, up and down. Two more sets, doubles, doubles, up and down. Last time, doubles, doubles, up and down. Nice job, now punch low and middle and high. Jump together, one, two, three, four again. Low, middle, always four of each. High, jump together, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, middle. High, jump together, one, two, three, and four again. Three and four, three and four, high. Jump together, one, two, three, and four. Two more sets, and center, and high. Jump together, one, two, three, four. Last set, and middle, and high. One, two, three, and four, nice job. Forward and in. 
So side to side with those legs, forward and back with your arms, rolling your elbows behind you. Breathe through it. A few more, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna step to the side, step to the front, step to the side and again. Keep going to the same side. It's like a little L step. Forward and back in line. Side and forward, back and in line. A few more. Big arms for four. And three. And two. Last one. And stay here. Now pump your knee, arms pull down. Little pump to changing size. Go for a few more. Really pull down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just step side to side with those rows to start with. Make sure you have space on the other side. Deep breaths. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go side and forward, back and back. Side and forward, back and back. Nice big steps. Nice big rows with those arms. A few more sets. Try and get a little bit lower with those legs. Just two more sets. And back, last set, side forward, back in line, stay here and grow that arm down, knee up. Diagonal pull, breathing through it. All the way up. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knee in front, pull down. Pull down and think about abs. You're crunching forward, so your ab crunch. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come into the center, arms to the side, and kick that butt. Deep breaths. You don't want that heart rate to come up too high, so make sure, slow it down if you need to. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're staying here for four. Three, two, and one. Now, four, three, two, and one, and kick behind. Three, two, and one. Other leg for four. Three, two, and one. In front for four. Three, two, and one, and kick behind. Three, two, and one. Again for four. Two, and one. In front. Two, and one. Kick behind. Two, and one. Last time before. Two, and one. In front. Two, and one, and kick behind. Two, and one. Now come back to this one, and we're gonna do a single, single, double. Now maybe come side to side a little bit, double. It's a single and single, double. Single, single, double. We're gonna do the same for behind. Single and double. Single, single and double. Single, single and double. Last time, single, single and double. We're gonna go back in front, single, single just for two. And single, single and double. Back behind, single, single, double. One more time, double. Again for two, it's single. Single if you wanna jump a little bit, one more time. Single, single, double, behind. And kick and double, and kick and kick and double. We've got two more sets of that, single, single, double. One more time, single, double, kick behind. Really kick your butt. And single, single, double. Last time, single, single, double. Crunch those abs, kick behind. Single and double, 
and single, single, double. Just go two steps across and across. We're letting the heart rate down. You don't even have to use your arms. Deep breaths in, across and across. Okay, so maybe that was a bit more than zone three. <laughs> a little bit more. Across and across, across and across. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Nice job. We're going to do a few squats, lunges, and kicks. So come into a turnout position. All we're doing is coming down and kicking, coming down, knee up. If you want to touch the floor, kick diagonal, down, knee up. If you're touching the floor, you're hinging from the hips, not rounding the back. Tap and kick, tap and in. So this one is going to let the heart rate down a little bit, but I really want you to focus on the sculpt now. So okay, if you're feeling wobbly, you can hold on with this hand, hold on to the chair, but it's fine if you're wobbling. Using more muscle fibers. And up for three, and kick. And two, kick. Last one, and knee. Now we're gonna go down, knee up, Side lunge, knee up, hinge, and down. If you want, tap down on the side lunge too. Curtsy, side lunge, picking up that leg. And as I said, if your heart rate is getting too high, slow it down. Just keep breathing. Curtsy, side lunge, curtsy. Side lunge, three more sets. Down and up. Flat back, stick your butt to the wall at the back. Side, two more sets. Here comes Minnie. Last set. Hey darling, you sit there. Good job, we're going to the other side. Hmm? Yeah, you sit here, come on. Deep breath in. We're gonna start with our curtsy to kick. Curtsy to knee. There she goes into her bed. Kick, curtsy, knee. So hinging with a flat back. Weight is in the heel of the front leg. And yes, it may feel wobblier on one side as opposed to the other. <laughs> this seems to be my wobblier side, but I'm gonna fight for it. And down and kick. Three more sets. Long leg, doesn't have to be a high kick. And two. Last one. And up. Now we're gonna go down, pick your leg up, side lunge, pick your leg up. It's down and down. So I'm kind of doing runner's arms, alternating arms, reaching with a flat back, reaching. Down and side. Keep going. Down and side. How about four more sets? Deep breath. Now three. Get low. And two. Side. Last one. And side. Okay, we're going to come into a nice turnout position. Deep breath in. We're going to come down, circle up, circle down, circle up. Nice and wide. Push your hips slightly to the front. Push your knees slightly to the back. On the down. And up, down, and up for three. Catch your breath. Two. Last one, stay up, up on the toe. It's just one side, a little bit faster. Down and up, and up, four, and three, and two, and one. Other side up, lift that heel, it's down and up. It's a double pulse, and up. 
Come on. Just four. Big circle. Three, two, and one. It's both heels up. Both heels up. For four, three, two, and one. Arms overhead, up and down with the heels. Stay low. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. If your heart rate is too high, maybe arms here, maybe arms here. Up and down. Up and down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Okay, put your hand weights down. We're going to use the chair next. So bring that over. Minnie wanted to go out, so that's why she has disappeared for now. Okay, we're gonna start doing a little combination. We're gonna start really nice and simple so that we can build it up and eventually do the entire flow. So all I want you to do is something very simple. Come down to a side lunge, then twist your body and leg raise. So it's a side lunge and then you're twisting. Now this foot, that's towards the chair is in a turnout position, so you technically don't have to rotate your foot at all. And up. Now start to lift your heel as you bring your back leg up. So you're lifting your supporting leg heel and up. It's down and up, down and up. Now I want you to start lifting off a tiny bit if you can. Hold on to the chair, little hop. So as you raise your leg, little hop. If you use the momentum of the leg, swing it up, it will actually help you to raise up easier. It's side, if you don't want that hop, just stay with the raise of the heel. And up, just two more like this. Down and up, down and up. Okay, we're gonna go to a different series and then we're gonna combine them. So we're gonna come down in that side lunge and then over the, to the side. So you're swinging, rotating, lifting that leg, out of thigh raise, knee cap to the front, rotate through the body and down. Doesn't have to be super high. You're keeping your supporting leg in the exact same position as before. That's important because we're gonna be alternating between the two. It's up and down and up. Two more. Try and make it floaty and effortless. And up, so come down and come to that side lunge. We'll just keep our foot flat. Come down and here. So side lunge two, sweep. Side lunge two, leg up. Now lift that heel. It's up, it's down, it's raise. It's down, it's up, it's down, it's raised. Now if you want to lift off, it's down, it's up, down, and raise. Down, up, down, and raise. Just keep going with this. And up, down, raise, down, and up, down, and raise. We're gonna add on to this. We're gonna come into the side lunge. We're going to put our fingertips down. We're gonna drop behind, come down, kick. Come up, side lunge. So just do that with me. So we're in a side lunge. Curtsy behind, drop down, kick up. Plant your foot forward, come back to the side lunge. We're gonna do that a few times. So it's down, it's curtsy, it's down, it's kick. It's step, it's side lunge. It's curtsy, it's down, it's kick. It's step, help yourself up with your hands. It's side lunge. Curtsy, down, kick. Step, side lunge, two more. Curtsy, down, kick. Step, side lunge. Last time, so you curtsy behind, then you kneel, then you lay down on your side, then you kick, then you step, and you side lunge. Okay, are you ready? Putting that together. We're going to go down and we're going to raise. We're gonna go down. We're gonna do leg lift. We're gonna go down. We're curtsying 
and we're raising and we're stepping and we're forward. We're going to do the lift. Down, sway to the side, down behind and up and forward. It's side to up, side to sweep, down behind, kick it up, keep going. Side lunge, jump, side lunge, sweep, down behind, kick up, keep going. Two more sets, up, side lunge, sweep, it's down, curtsy down, kick and up. Side lunge, jump, side lunge, sweep, it's down, step behind, kick and up. Stay here, go side to side, side to side, let your heart rate down. Bet you didn't think you could do that, right? That entire flow, if I would have shown you that at the very beginning, you would have thought, no way. You, you are better than you think. You're more coordinated than you think. And if you didn't get it all, that's okay. Next time, your brain will let you do it better. For four, and three, two, and one. We're gonna come down. Stay here for a moment. And now come up, but don't get up. Kick. Come up, but don't get up. Kick. Come up, but don't get up. Kick. Come up. Both legs are bent at the moment. Now kick. Straighten this leg. Come up. Other hand overhead. Come down. It's kick with a straight leg. Come up. Come down. I'm lifting the heel of the front leg. Come up. Come down. It's kick. It's step. It's raise. It's down. A few more of these. It's step. Raise on the toe and down, just two more. And step, raise on the toe and down. Last one, it's kick, it's step, it's raise and down. I'm not gonna do any more on that side because I can imagine that you are well and truly into 3.5 or zone four cardio. And if you don't even know what that means, don't worry about it. It just means you're breathing hard, right? Guess what, same thing other side. Take a deep breath. So, side lunge first. It's side lunge, turn your body, raise. That's all we're doing. Side lunge, tummy's in hinge and raise. Your foot is in turn out and it's staying in the same position the entire time. And raise. Now can you lift your heel? Side lunge, lift the heel of the supporting leg as you raise. It's side lunge, twist and raise. Side lunge, twist and raise. Now if you want to, you can do a tiny hop and hop. It's side lunge, twist and hop. Side lunge. If you use your, your moving leg to help you get that elevation, it makes the hop easier. And hop, last time, and hop. Okay, foot stays in the same position. Same thing, side lunge, sweep and lift. Side lunge, sweep and lift. So, kneecap to the front, just raise that leg. Doesn't have to be super high. I just want you to feel it in your waistline. Side lunge and sweep. Four more, then we're combining it. Three, two, rotate through that body. One, so we're doing the side lunge. We're leaning, we're lifting off if you wanna lift off. We're doing the side lunge, we're doing a raise. Same thing, side lunge, lean and tiny jump. Down and raise. And it's down and raise, keep going. Down and raise. Three more sets. Squeeze your butt as you do all the raises. That's what it's for. And up and down. And up, last set. Down and up 
and down and up. Okay, next little segment. We're coming down in that side lunge with our fingertips. We're curtsying behind, okay? We're coming all the way down onto our hip. We're raising our leg. We're stepping up. We're going back into the side lunge. Are you ready? We're doing a few of those. Then we're combining it. So it's down, it's curtsy, it's lower yourself, it's kick. It's up, it's side lunge. Behind, down, kick. Step, side lunge. Curtsy, down and kick. Step, side lunge. Come on, a few more. Step, lunge, three more. Kick and step and this is working your core. And kick, I think we have one more, right? This is the last one. And kick, down and up. Okay, I'll give you a breath, because I need it. We're starting from scratch. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go lift. We're gonna go down. We're gonna do sweep. We're gonna go down. We're stepping behind. We're coming down. We're lifting up. We're stepping front. We're coming side lunge. We're leaning over. We are coming up. Down and sweep. Fingers down. Step behind. Down. Kick and step. Side lunge and sweep. Side lunge. Sweep. Down. Step behind. Down and kick. Come on. So from here, straight into the elevation. If you want to elevate, and side. Down, curtsy kick. Step side lunge. Three more sets. It's up. It's down. It's sweep. It's down. Down and kick. Step and out. It's up. It's down. It's up. It's down. Down and kick, stepping out, last time, it's over. Down, sweep, down, behind, kick, I want you to finish it, up and up. Okay, deep breath in, we're gonna go back on the mat. Come back down, I want you to come up, then I want you to push up as if you're gonna get up, but you're not. Your back leg is starting off bent. Step and push up. So your tummies are in. Use your arms to push up. It's up, forward and up. Now straighten out your bottom leg. It's up, it's forward, and it's straight with the bottom leg straight. It's up, makes it a little bit harder, and down. Up. Forward, up, and down, come on. Up, and down, three more. Up, forward, up, and down. Last time, up, forward, up, and down. And you're done with this segment, oh my goodness. Deep breath in. Come forward into a child's pose for a second, deep breath in. Okay, we're doing a short little set using the fit ball. Then we're gonna finish with the step, okay? So the, the fit ball is gonna be fun, a little bit challenging, but mostly fun, and also a bit of a stretch sculpt. So start with the ball in the center, and we're just gonna roll and side lunge. Roll across and across, across. I really want you to start twisting, twist and rotate to the back. Rotate to the back. You're looking at the back wall and across. Five, four, three, two and one. Nice job, come into the center, go over, overhead and down, as if you're about to throw it overhead and down. <sighs> overhead and down, you're in a nice wide plie and down. Four, three, two, 
three, two, and one. Now we're gonna start bouncing the ball. Bounce the ball and little hops. Now you don't have to lift off. You're gonna to have to watch that ball because it's gonna to wanna to roll away. You can just come up on your toes. Bounce and bounce. Bounce and bounce. Your neighbors are not gonna love you for this one. If you don't wanna bounce, you just hold on to that ball and do a little plie jumps. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pick up the ball, side to side. Point your toe and tap, side to side. Come on, breathe, side to side. Go for four, three, two, and one. We're putting it together. We're gonna to do four of each, four sweeps, four up and down, four bounces, four swings. Okay, just keep repeating it. So go one, two, Three, four, pick up the ball, up, two, three, four, bounce the ball, two, three, four, pick it up and sweep, two, three, and four, plant it down, it's one, and two, and three, and four, pick it up, one, and two, and three, and four, bounce it, one, two, three, and four, sweep it up. Two, three, and four, go again, sweep. Two, three, four, pick it up and up. Two, three, four, bounce it, one, two, three, and four, sweep it up, two, Three and four, just one more set. Are you ready? Roll it. Two, three, and four. Come center up. Two, three, and four. Bounce it, one. Two, three, and four. Swing it, one. Two, three, four. Stay here, kick your butt. Side to side, kick your butt. Side to side. Side to side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do a great bind. Step behind, step together, ball out and in. Step behind, step behind, step together for four, three, two, last one. We're going to do a heel in front with a sweep. Keep it slow. Kick your heel in front. Figure eight sweep. Down and down. You can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now chop down and sit back into it a little bit. To the side of the knee. To the side of the knee. Your knee's coming across the body. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, gonna start with those butt kicks for four. Grapevine for four. Heel kicks for four, and knee ups for four. That's all we're doing. So it's one, and two, and three, and four. Out and in. One, two, three, and four. Sweep and heel. Three, and four, knee up and sweep. Two, three, and four. Same thing, butt kick. Two, three, and four, grapevine. And one, two, three, and four. Sweep and heel. Two, three, and four, knee up. Figure eight, two, three, and four. Again, butt kick, two. Three and four, grapevine. And side, you can do two steps by the way if you don't like this grapevine. And side, heel kicks, one, two, three and four, knees up across the body, two, three and four. Last time, three and four, grapevine out and in with the ball. Two, three 
and four. Heels in front, two, three, and four. Knees up, one, and two, three, and four. Down with the ball. Down with the ball. Heart rate down, oh my goodness. Swing your arms, swing your arms forward and back. Swing your arms side to side. Rotate. Okay, we're getting our step. Come into the center of your space. It's not gonna be hard. We're gonna keep it relatively simple. So, can you put your hands on the front of the step? We're gonna go up, up, down, down, alternating. Down and down, up and up, down and down, up and up, down and down. Up, up, down and down, up, up, down and down. Getting some arm work in. One more each side. Last time, down and down. Now put your back leg on. If you can keep it here, keep it here. If not, you can come more upright. We're just gonna come forward, flat foot, forward and back, forward and back. So flat foot forward by your hand, then just behind the step, forward and back. Forward and back. Your hands can move forward and back, loading that quad, forward and back. Last time and back. Come back up to the other side and we're doing the other leg. So we're stepping forward, back, forward, back, forward and back. This is your option. Okay, if you want to stay upright, forward, back, forward and back. Three, two and one. Nice job. We're going to put those together. Come up. We're going to go for four of these. Change sides, down, change sides, down, change sides, down, down, up and up. We're going to step down. We're going four of these. And two, and three, and four. Step up, step down, down again, and up, up for four. Three, two, doesn't matter if you get the leg wrong. Other side, flat foot, forward, and back. Knee taps each time, forward, and back forward and back last time forward and back get back on one more set each side alternating two more down down up up flat foot forward and back forward and back two more last one get back on last time alternate sides last one Step flat foot down, step forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Nice job. Deep breath. We're nearly done, people. Let your heart rate down. Deep breaths in. We're going to do another bit of a swinging combination. So we're going to turn towards our step. We're going to come down on our knee and swing our leg out as we bring our chest towards the um, step. Then we're gonna step up over this way. We're gonna step up and we're gonna swing this leg. So it's down and up and step and swing. Down, up, step and swing. Down and up and step. If you wanna kind of lift off a bit, you can and up and step and swing up step and swing two more down and up step and swing last time down and up step and swing stay here come back flex this foot and swing up come back and swing up come back sit back with those glutes down and swing diagonal down and swing diagonal for four three two last one can we come back down and raise it forward and up sit back for two and swing last time for two and swing come down rotate 
and up. Push yourself up and swing. Sit back for two. Last time. Come down, turn your knee, come up, push up and swing, sit back, swing, sit back. Last time, down and sweep, push yourself up and sweep, down and up, down and up. Come back down, kneeling position, deep breath in. Now I want your hands on the edge so you can come down with this hand. We're gonna come, same thing we just did, sweep up and then sweep forward. Sweep up, sweep forward. You're keeping the back arm loaded. Sweep up, sweep forward. Arm is up and down, not many. This is upper body, sweep forward. Sweep forward. Four, three, two, Last one, stay here and pulse. Pulse and pulse, six, five, four, three, two, one, other hand down, pulse and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one, other hand down, pulse and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one, front hand up, pulse and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one, other hand up, pulse and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. All we have to do is that sequence on the other side and we're done. Okay? We can do it. So, we're gonna come down into that kneeling with sweep first. So, you're going to have your knee facing, your hands are on here. You're gonna sweep and then you're going to sweep. Okay, so just start with this one. Step and sweep. Kneel and up, step and sweep. Now I really want you to come into a push up here. Your hips are turned out. So here, that hip is turned out, squeezing the side glute. You're coming up and it's an arabesque. So you're directly behind. And if you want to, little lift off. It's up, it's planted, lift off. It's up. It's planted, lift off. It's up. And it's okay if you wobble all over the place here. That's normal. If you're not used to these up and down and kind of trying to look graceful exercises, it can be normal. Last time. We're gonna sit back. We're gonna lift off. Sit back, flex your foot, straight leg, lift off. Sit back, lift off. This is stretch sculpt. Sit back, back, back with that glute, back corner. Lift off. Tiny little jump. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Lift up and step, lift off. Come back and up and back and up. Kneel down, rotate, leg up, step, lift off. Sit back and up, back and up. Kneel down, rotate, lift, step and up. Sit back and back. Come on, three more sets. It's down, it's up. It's up and sweep, sit back and back. It's down, it's up, step and sweep, sit back and back. Last time, it's down, it's up, back. Sweep, sit back, sit back, come back down. So remember here, you need to be able to put your hand down so you make sure you're close enough to the step. Take a deep breath in. This is the last bit. Okay. So you're staying quite low, like a semi push-up. 
You're gonna lift the leg, come down, sweep. Come up, lift, come down, sweep to the front. Come up, lift, try to keep your shoulders and your chest angled towards the step. Don't look at me. And down. The back arm is loaded the entire time. It never gets a break. Three more. Up and down. Two and down. Last one and down. Stay up. Pulse it. Pulse and pulse. Pulse and pulse. You're staying low in that back arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up with both arms. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down with the other arm. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down with the other arm. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's just go one more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And both arms up, we finish here. Pulse and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Done. Who would have known, people? Who would have known that this workout was gonna turn out to be so tough? Just breathe. Let that heart rate down. Come into the center. Swing your arms a little bit. Breathe, breathe. My introduction was definitely deceptive, side to side. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was gonna be zone two cardio. Definitely was not zone two cardio. Zone three at best. Maybe even zone four with some of those moves. But awesome, right? Do you feel accomplished? Rotate to the back. You should feel so proud of yourself. That was a long workout and it had a lot of cardio factor. And around, around, and around. Sometimes it's good to trick yourself into doing hard things. Your body, it wants to be self-preservational at all times. Come into a straddle stretch. It does not want to work hard. And if you, right from the beginning, know that it's gonna be super tough, your body is like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna conserve as much um, energy as I can, and I'm not gonna go hard. If, however, you get told at the beginning, me included, because I did not pre-plan this workout, um, that it's gonna be pretty easy, that it's just gonna be zone two cardio, which is like brisk walking, then you're like, I can do that, easy peasy, right? And then you are halfway through and you realize it was not zone two cardio, but you're already committed. You're already committed. Bring it in, let your knees drop to the side. So you're gonna finish it, because that's what we do at Barlatis. We finish stuff, don't we? We're not slackers. We don't do half things. When we start something, we finish it. And that's why we keep getting stronger. So, well done. Congratulations. This holiday fit series is no joke, people. If you're doing this one workout a day for the 14 days, you're gonna see some results, I promise you. This is one of those series where you get a bit of absolutely every type of training. There's heavier weights, there's all my different equipment. Let's just cross our knees on top of each other and sit down. Ah. Glute stretch. If you can't do this, sit cross-legged and lean forward. So all of the favorite equipment, definitely using the elevation increases it, using the wall increases it. That fit ball dusted it off, got, got a few good moves in there with that fit ball. So, you know, if you like variety, if you don't like getting bored, this series is definitely one that you can keep doing. Or just do one or two of the workouts each week. You know, you can do that too. Anytime you wanna get fitter or stronger or just have some personal gains of in some description this is the sort of series that you need to be doing you need to be challenging yourself you can't keep doing the same old thing people you cannot keep doing your same five favorite workout routines please we know better than that now right don't do the same workouts over and over i've got a thousand workouts so you never have to do the same workout over and over. You literally have three years of workouts of never repeating. Okay, just saying. 
Come into a nice child's pose. Push your armpits down. And then lay all the way down and push up. Ah, oh, that feels so good. We did a lot of hinging today. So hinging means you're kind of, you're keeping your back flat, but there's always a little bit of tension in your lower back. So this is now reversing that. Feels great. Come down and grab onto your foot. Pull your heel in. And other side. And because it was such a stretch sculpt workout, we actually don't need to stretch a whole lot. Just roll your shoulders, look side to side, bend your neck up and down. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for Holiday Fit Day 9 Cardio Sculpt. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got your sweat on like I did. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.